Now here's all you need to do to prepare for the big update. Let's talk about it. What's good YouTube nigga doing here? Coming to you today with a checklist before the update. So guys, before WOBO comes through and barring easy and hard chapter or normal chapters come through before the next biggest update, here's each and everything you need to do. But before we get into that, make sure you leave a like on the video. It really helps the channel out. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications and join that Discord server, the No Good Mafia. But number five is going to be very simple, very easy. And we kind of say this around each and every update but it's never gonna change guys stop your custom draws now please 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 save up your custom draws because the boy go gun he is coming to the custom draws you also need to stop because the platinum commemorative coin is going to get boosted so that means when you get to your ssr hunters and you get those platinum commemorative coins which you can use in your exchange shop to exchange for nice lovely rewards that is getting boosted guys so you really don't want to draw any more hunters i know it sounds crazy but you don't want to draw any more hunters at least not now now and Gogan he is coming through Hansi may also should be coming through into the special draw or custom draw so that's something to keep in mind you should also not do your weapon draw tickets i think that's also important you do not want to do this because i do think the demon king daggers are going to come through and also I just personally have no reason to do it until those Demon King daggers do come through because we got pretty much almost every other SSR Sanjinu weapon that we really need. Unless you need Zeke's, guys, you can definitely wait at least five more days to find out if the Demon King daggers do come out. Again, this is the weapon only banner, so it's the perfect time to save these weapon tickets and improve your chances. Now, what I also want to recommend since we're talking about drawing, we're talking about the gacha system, is the special summons. Guys, please, please, please skip the special summons this part's kind of like an honorable mention special summons is going to be boosted in the next draw period so towards the end of the month or in about i think 10 days 11 days special summons will get boosted so do not confirm any draws within this period guy this will save you your 9.99 and you that will not allow you to get you know you won't have to buy the 30 dollars single for the next period so that's just saving you guys money that's something to keep in mind now number two and we kind of already mentioned them but you want to prepare for wbo barn so prepare for the boy barn you need to build up your dark and your wind metas now as far as hunters guys i think the best team to start off is going to be that win team so if we go down and i'm just going to go to manage teams here and we're going to look at different team compositions that you can think of rocking now for the win team specifically i'm thinking something more so uh like this so we're talking wujin chul Hansi Mei and then Amamiya Mire. You definitely want a team like this, probably Big Rock as the lead shadow, and then Iron and Serbi. These three will definitely dominate pretty much out the gate. I think this is going to be the well-rounded team. I think this is honestly going to be the meta for a lot of people when it comes to initially starting Workshop or Brilliant Light. Now, for you guys that do have the dark lollies, go ahead and try that out. You can definitely try out that team. I think this is probably going to be a meta composition for the dark uh hunters i think charlotte harper and the boy mean is definitely 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 gonna eat especially if you have them all high advanced i think a team composition like this can do some nice serious damage and then as far as shadows this probably won't change too much iron serby uh, and then maybe egress you could probably do big rock uh blades if you needed to well probably not blades but um definitely guys light or dark meta and then as far as the sunji new side because you will need sunji new weapons think plum think moon shadow think zeke's think demon king longsword think westwind we're gonna have the workshop really like guide once it drops so just stay tuned click that post notification button so you don't miss it when we do drop the guide now let's get into number three number three is gonna talk about codes so yes guys codes 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 it's the name of the game you guys honestly do not want to ever miss free rewards in any game possible so never forget to redeem a code check the description right now and you should see some redeem codes because i think the solo leveling championship just ended about yesterday so the redeem not the redeem but the description or the pinned comment should have some redeem codes for you guys but you can also support your boy on the netmarble website so that first link in the description will take you to the netmarble 
Global Partner Creator Plus website, and that's where you guys can get some juicy codes from your boy No Good E Man. Now, as we scroll all the way down, you can see that there are two approved codes here: the Essence Stone Signs 500 SR Hunter Exclusive Weapon Designs and Powder of Blessing and Rune Fragments. Now, us content creators will get a new code sometime this week, definitely for the update height. So there's gonna be a third code dropping, guys. So we're getting so many codes this weekend. You do not want to miss your chance to get some free, free, free stuff. We've been getting the insane codes. I think a code that dropped like two days ago gave us a thousand essence stones and one million gold, which is insane. So Netmarble is riding the hype of this update and they're dropping codes to boot and they're not being selfish. So make sure you guys are liking and subscribing and turning on post notifications. We don't just say it, but we will actually let you guys know each and every time a new code drops. But that is number three. Now, number four is going to be a little bit of maintenance and probably how long you play the game will factor into this. But go ahead and start stacking up those shadow traces. So right now we have 619 because we did end up investing into the boy Big Rock. I think Big Rock Shadow is honestly a very, very good shadow. And he's pretty meta for like Battle for the Time and thing. But the boy Kaizel might be dropping this next update. And with WOBL coming through, he should be dropping for sure. So guys, you definitely want to have your traces ready it's always 100 to extract the shadow initially and then for upgrades we can look at it right now if we just look at serbi from common to elite that's 150 traces from the next upgrade which is common to knight that's 350 and then the max him out is um 600 in total so if i want to go from common to elite knight it's going to be 600 but do remember that it's going to be 100 to extract so off boot kaiser will take about 700 traces to max out like as soon as he drops so i need about 80 more traces to be good and the best ways to get traces of shadow guys as we click source it's going to be your gates you definitely want to do your gates now the rng here will vary it honestly just depends you can get like i just got some traces right there boom I do want to say that I feel like gates now give it a little bit more. I think during early access or like around global, we didn't get too many traces. I think level might also pertain to this. So the difficulty that you do play on, we are on level 90. So we're on difficulty 38, which is the max difficulty currently as we get two more traces there. But it's very, very RNG based. The other place, the other only place other from like level up rewards that you can actually get traces the shadow is the battle for the time exchange shop so guys this is exactly why we give you guys the best know-how on battle for the time each and every time as we get 90 traces right there so boom when kaizo drops i can max him out right away now 714 is our shadow traces and that is super super lovely and we're not done yet we got one more thing you need to do before the update hits and that's going to be finishing out your events guys so battle for the trials challenge is still ongoing this has about again four more days and 13 hours until this goes away you don't want to miss this because the rewards here are just super super sweet guys you can get things from market times to room fragments to free gold so go ahead and play that out especially the sunji new side the hunter side might be a little bit harder if you didn't invest into the dark hunters so you definitely want to get as far as you pop as you possibly can right do as best as you can guys i need to go ahead and play this out myself when i do remember that so hopefully i don't forget that but in accordance with that there are so many other events going on right now i think the may special crafting event guys don't forget this please 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 don't forget this get those good artifact pieces check out the video that we dropped on may special crafting don't forget your treasure hunt don't forget your special dice to get those lollies to get whatever freaking um dice you need whatever blessing stones whatever weapon designs don't forget this wheel event this is honestly probably one of my more favorite events going on right now just because you get so many powders of blessings you can get things from um enhancement chips to weapon enhancements don't forget your lucky clover your charlotte and harper growth and guys with that in mind what else do you guys think we need to do before the big update go ahead and leave your thoughts theories and comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on post notices, and join that discord server the no good mafia and with that i am out y'all take care peace